Entering a formula. To enter a simple formula, when you're in a spreadsheet, you will actually come in under the Home tab, and to the far right, you'll see the Editing tab. And the top of that tab, you'll see this little symbol, which is actually the Sum symbol. And just place your cursor above that, and it'll say, Display the sum of the selected cells directly after the selected cells. This is the quick way to enter in a formula into a spreadsheet. And I'll demonstrate. Here I have these four numbers. And of course, everyone knows that if you add up 1, 2, 3, and 4, your sum is 10. But to have the spreadsheet calculate this for me, I'll highlight those four numbers. And I'll come and click on my sum symbol. And once I do that, now you see 10 has been entered in in that last box. Now, sum is not the only function that you could do there. You could actually choose any of these functions here. You, I could average the numbers. I could actually ask it to count the numbers. I could ask it to do max and min. Or I could choose more, where the other options of formulas are also listed. But before I show you that, If you actually click on where the sum was totaled, if you take a look here, right beside your actual name cell or your name box, you'll see the formula bar. And here, you'll see the actual formula written out. Or for those that have had experience with Excel or a spreadsheet, you probably already knew this. But the actual function written out would be equals sum open parentheses and your cell reference of a1 colon or meaning through your cell reference of a4 close parentheses so if you wanted to learn how to do or actually write out the formula you could actually choose that from over here and then highlight your answer and it'll give you that right there or, if you notice, when I highlight it, it also gives you that information at the bottom of that box. Notice at the bottom, it has equals sum, and then it has J5 colon J8. Now, if I chose to do another function, we'll say max. Of 1 through 4. Notice that below my 10, which was my sum, I now have my maximum number of 4. If I wanted to choose more functions, notice all of the functions from before are listed as well as many others. And take note that the actual formula is written right below your drop down box and is in bold so if you want to actually start learning how these formulas look or for you to enter it to yourself that is actually provided there for you as well the explanation of the formula is here and that's basically how you will enter a formula